Hello and welcome to Someica Recruitment Template. This tool mainly displays a professional looking recruitment tracking system to you to be able to track the jobs and your candidates much easier. It is constructed by four parts. These are the dashboard, vacancies, candidates and lastly the settings. So let's start with the vacancies. Enter your job details in each section. The information you will input in this section will be used dynamically on the dashboard. So, let's give an example. Since we just opened this job, it is still vacant and we're looking for some new candidates. Once you're done with the job part, you may carry on with the candidates part. You may also change or add new options for department, recruiter and status from settings. Once we get to settings, I will explain how to do it. From now on, let's move on to the candidates part. Enter your candidate details for each section. Please do not edit the grey cells in this section. Once you choose the job ID, from here. The relevant department, job name and the name of the recruiter will be displayed automatically. Fill all cells except the grey ones which remain in this field. So let's move on. Since the job is still vacant, the candidate must not be hired. So let's say he's in the interviews and he's in the process. If the recruitment decision is not made by one person or individual, you may press the plus sign to be able to see your colleague's view. This section is only for visual purpose. They will not be represented on the dashboard. Once you made your decision as company or individual, always input the decision and the decision date. Even if the candidate is not hired or still on the process. This will help you to demonstrate the data on the dashboard. Each option in this section has been colored by a relevant color to give you visual help. Once you're done, you may write your comments in this section. And if you think you will need more space, you may press the second plus sign to get additional comment columns. The header titles in this part are dynamic and it can be changed in the settings part. Also with selection face, views and decision options. Once you enter the information for all the candidates, they will be ready to be chosen dynamically on the dashboard. In addition, it is not template's property, however, you may link the names to the CV documents which you obtain in your computer. All you have to do is right click on the name and link the cell to the relevant person's CV. So let's give an example. Let's say that his name is not Peter Parker but John Lochner. So right click on it, click link and find the document and then click on it. Once you click after linking, you will be able to display the relevant person's CV. So now let's carry on with the settings. This part represents the options for drop down menus. You may add or change options to make it personalized. However, please do not change the logic of the cells with the red fonts. You may rename them. However, you may not change the logic of it. And also, if you rename an option, you have to rechoose the old option from other sheet and change it to the new one. For example, 
Let's say instead of vacant, we prefer to say not filled. And you have some data with the old option. So once you get to vacancies, you have to change your data into not filled from vacant. You can apply this procedure to the other options as well. So in this case, let's move on with the old option. Now we may carry on with the dashboard. Once you completed typing the job and the candidate information, you may see the results of the data you input on the dashboard. The recruitment pop pipeline according to the stages, job properties vacancy rate, percentages of sources of applications and lastly the number of applications by month. You may add filters from here to narrow your results. You can filter it by date, job ID and by recruiter. Once you do it, the results are going to be displayed accordingly. Let's say we're looking for the job properties and the results of the dates between June 2019 and July 2020. So this is only the results are only according to these dates. Once we enhance the range, you see that we're having more results. You can add more filters. You can have you can check the results of Austin Milfrey between these dates and the results are going to change accordingly. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.